Hey folks, BFG Neil here and back with another weekly roundup of news and information about the Helium Network. As always, drop your questions in the comments below and you'll get answers on next week's video. Please consider giving me a like and subscribe, it really, really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, let's get on with the news. The first news article I want to go over is something you've probably seen unless you've been living under a rock in the Helium world. Uh, New York Times released an article and it's titled, Maybe There's a Use for Crypto After All. And it talks about how Helium's a wireless network um, powered by cryptocurrency and it hints at practical promises for decentralized services. It's a great article. It goes over Helium and what they call bringing it into the meat spaces. Gristle King often puts it. But one of the most um, interesting lines I saw was the people involved in it aren't brazen speculators and most appear to be genuinely interested in creating a decentralized wireless network. I think we are, right? Next two news articles that I want to go over are two recently approved HIPs. So some of you may not have seen this, um, so it's important that we talk about it. The first one is HIP 45, LoRaWAN Frequency Plan Selection. This kind of ties it down so each region has a common plan and this is set against the LoRa um, Alliance. So if things change, um, the LoRa Alliance would manage that and we just follow the standards. But it just standardizes the way LoRaWAN works over the network. Nothing scary. And the next one is HIP46, LoRaWAN NetID routing. So currently in the system, there is only one NetID and it's Helium. And this allows other networks to create their own NetID to route their own traffic. So at the moment, if a non-Helium network ID come through, it would be dropped. So this just allows roaming partners to roam on Helium in a better way and manage their traffic. So great news, great HIP, nothing to worry about. And it's great to see that roaming and data use is gonna increase soon. Up next is a little bit of news from Rack. So um, as of the latest release, um, the firmware now uses the hardware type field. So either original Helium or Rack. So before this point, Rack have not had support access to their hotspots. So anything they needed to look to, to fix particular issues, they had to go through Helium through. So enabling this firmware has meant that they can now burrow into your hotspot, check what's going wrong. Um, so just gives them some time to roll this out. It's very, very beta at this stage and it'll take a while to get going, but we're moving in the right direction. Up next, I wanted to give a shout out to the Pirate Radio DAO. Um, we've got a meeting coming up on Sunday at 10, 10 a.m. EST. That's 8 p.m. In, in the UK time. Uh, and the Pirate Radio DAO is going to be talking about voyages for the first time. So we've just settled on a mission statement um, that's going to be released on Sunday. And then we're going to talk about voyages. So the voyages is what we plan to do. So if you have any ideas or would like to be part of the conversation, please follow the link in the description below to the Discord and join us on Sunday. Next thing I wanted to talk about is the ETL. Um, it's been going under some maintenance this week and it was found that some of the data was actually missing. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew um, if you've seen some graphs flying around that um, usage is really low or, or, or you've seen some reports that have just shown the wrong thing, this is probably why. So right now, if you try and visit the ETL, it actually errors um, out so you can't do anything with it. But the data it was showing um, was missing information. So if you've seen any reports on the ETL in the last week, I wouldn't have trusted them. Uh, you may see some wild claims that, uh, you, you know, the, the data was wildly off. I mean, we're only running a tad, but it's not as bad as people are making out. It's just that the, the data was having some issues. These upgrades will make it smoother and run much more efficiently in the future. So just give them some time and we'll have it back up and running soon. Um, in regards to this, we've also got some fun grant work coming up um, from a, an amazing guy, Big Dave Eakers. Um, I hope to do a show with him eventually as well. So I'm calling him out live on this video just so he knows he has to do it. Next bit of news I just wanted to go over was Hotspotty have put back in witness lines. Now, they had to remove them due to speed issues with hotspots and the huge amount of witnesses, but they brought them back with some cool tweaks and optimization. So give it a try, have a look, and you can see that the witness lines returned. I, I love them. I love Hotspotty. They do a fantastic job. So make sure you check them out. And now it's FAQ question time. So feel free to drop your questions in the comments below and I'll answer them on next week's video. Question number one comes from Dan Justin and he asks, when is the next helium halving? Every two years, right? That's correct. We've had one on August 1st, 2021. So the next halving will be August 1st, 2023. Next question comes from Bunky and he asks, Neil, thanks for these helpful videos. You're welcome, bud. Are the changes to the HNT network effective immediately? Should we expect our hotspots to stop going offline once per week? 
So when they make a change to the network, you'll see in the announcement post at the bottom, we've been beta testing it, and it's normally for a few days. And then there's a release target, which is normally a few hours in advance. So when an update comes out, it's generally effective immediately. But one thing you have to note is when an update go, does go out, sometimes things like um, the disk was full, they've improved garbage cleaning. So you'll find that you may need to resync, or, or you might, may, may find after a reboot, it takes a few hours to come back or to fix the issue. So if you were struggling with an issue and an update comes out and you know you've got that update, it's always worth giving it a few hours to a day just to see if it comes back before power cycling it. You know, often a power cycle will cause more problems than it's worth. So just, just give it time after these updates come out and you should see a return to normal. And the last question comes from Mark Miller. He says, another great video, Neil. Keep them coming. Thank you, buddy. Any thoughts on the timeline for light hotspots or not having to worry about being relayed? I have several miners deployed off grid and currently running them from cellular hotspots. Yeah, so right now cellular and relay is, is not a fun position. I have a relayed hotspot here because of the net network setup in my office. So I'm going to be moving to a VPN connection, which should improve it. But it's literally been on for four days and it's not, um, it's not connected to the network and having the activity. And that's just the nature of relay and, and the way the system's running. Um, light gateways are coming, uh, they're coming this quarter and I believe there's an update from Helium coming any day now to, to let you know. So light gateways are running on testnet, running POC, so they're very, very close to being in production. And it just fixes so many issues, you know, hotspots don't sync anymore, they don't need an inbound port, it's all outbound, it uses a different method. So we should see some consistency coming back. The other great thing is validators do challenge construction. So that means that we won't have relay challenges. So zero witness beacons become a thing of the past. Sounds good, right? And that's it for another week's video. Thanks for your comments on last week's video. If you do have questions, please drop them in the comments below. If you have news articles you'd like me to feature or projects, please get in touch. I can, you can either drop a message in the comments below or, or message me on Discord. I'm just BFG Neil on the Helium Discord. Uh, I'd love to feature you. Um, bye for now.